you going? Practice. Recording. <laughs> okay, so, you ready? Is it focused? It's focused. So, what's your name? Cameron. And how old are you? Eleven. What grade are you in? Okay, so I thought it would be a good idea. Um, we've had this channel for a little while and we've gone through some changes and now I want to introduce you to my big kids. Starting with my ace. Me, Cam. He is. You were. <laughs> okay, so he's 11. What's your favorite food? Burritos. Favorite color? Blue. Mm. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow? Since when yellow? I like yellow. You trying to do new things? Maybe. <laughs> this is 11. I want them to get to know you more. So I thought you could tell us maybe five interesting things about you. I really like quiet reading time, morning walks, read aloud time. I like basketball. So here's a little bit about my basketball career. My dad was my coach. I had 73 points the whole season. It's just fun. Who's your favorite player? So I have a Kawhi Leonard. Great okay, so we've been working on working on your skills in basketball and you've been really motivated to get your work done and your studies um, in so that you could focus on basketball as well, right? We had a meeting and we talked a bit about his strengths and the things that he enjoys um, and some of the things that he wanted to do more of. So... One of the biggest projects that we decided we would start with was... Clubhouse. A clubhouse. The perfect fit because Cameron likes to... Make. You like to make? Make. Uh... <laughs> we are moving into our purpose-driven unschool. And the project that you selected to start off with was... Building a clubhouse. Try to get this clubhouse to be functional, huh? Yes. That would be pretty cool. Instead of buying one, why did you want to build it yourself? Because I like making things. We call you Cam the Creator, right? What do you enjoy so much about creating things yourself? It's fun. So I made this jersey. So I took all my duct tape. Like I cut out paper to make the number four and I covered it with tape. The outside was like a brighter white. And show them the back. <laughs> okay, let me see you dunk it. Kim's a creator, so Anything that has to do with using his tools and... Mind. Yes, and your mind. Mm -hmm. We took a trip to the hardware store and he got lost in all the aisles. What were you looking at? Wood, metal, more wood, plumbing, pipe. <laughs> so our goal is going to be to find ways, as many ways as possible, to incorporate all the things that you could learn and the knowledge that you could acquire to help you accomplish your goal. What is this face you're giving me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, so that's our goal, right? Mm -hmm. I basically took a notebook, asked him a bunch of questions, and we tried to set up a game plan on all of the things that he would start by learning this year, right? Not only are we going to build a clubhouse, but the goal is to make it functional, right? Yes. So that they can go out and watch movies. And he needs a proper roof just in case it rains. Just in case it rains. He needs running water. Yes. 
<laughs> One of the things that we have to work on, though, is you have all those ideas in your head and you have to get them out onto paper. No. <laughs> yes. No. He does not like to get his ideas out onto paper, but I am trying to tell him how much that is going to help his creative life. I already tried it. <laughs> So he's one of those who has an idea and he likes to just go with it and be unhinged and unhindered. But I'm trying to tell him that with as many brilliant ideas that he's got going on in his mind, it's important for him to be able to write things down. Uh, trying to work with him and get him to get his thoughts out onto paper so that it could be more of a full body, thorough, full mind experience. <laughs> So that's another thing in problem solving, a.k.a. math. Um, yeah, I know, is that he tries to skip ahead to the answer. Anyway, so that's one of the things that we want. <laughs> that's one of the things that we try to work on because he does. I know what that feeling is like to have so many things in your mind and you skip um, pieces and parts that are important in the process. So we're going to be working on that. Another thing I really love about him is he pays attention to the smallest details. So we went on our morning walk the other day and it is not quite spring blooming yet and oh. yet he noticed the tiniest flower, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. So I love that about him is that he's 11. He's 11. <laughs> but he still notices the smallest things. I asked yes. you your favorite food. Yes. I asked you your favorite color. Blue. And yellow. <laughs> and orange. And orange? I like a lot of colors. Oh my gosh. Okay. So another thing to note about Cameron is he's not normally a fan of change. I want to ask you what you think about our newest change in homeschool. So when I came to tell you about our plans, uh, about not doing school anymore, what did you think? I haven't learned enough yet. You haven't learned enough? The other two kind of go with the flow, but all the changes mommy makes in homeschool and in life, mm, it's not so much a fan. <laughs> but he has learned how to be a lot more flexible and he goes with the flow pretty well, despite him naturally being against change. Here's to a year full of purpose-driven studies and working at things with all of our heart, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that.